Hey there, Ron Lady in here again, and uh, got something special for you guys. So um, previously, when I'd been demoing uh, overdrives, I had mentioned that my preference would be for an overdrive that does not have a tone control, because I'm, I'm just not really into tone controls. Uh, for me, an overdrive should do one of two things, boost and add extra gain. Well, finally found something after scanning, I don't know how many different websites. Um, it's TC Electronics 2Pilot, and it is a straightforward overdrive. Um, DC operated, uh, so you can't use a nine volt battery, but that's all right. Um, instrument in, device out, on off switch, true bypass, and as you can see the controls, output level, and tube drive. That's it. Fantastic. So let's hear how it sounds through the Marshall Origin 50. Okay, so this is just the amp. No drive. See, that's what I meant. That's what I've been talking about this whole time. This, this is what I've been looking for. And what did it do? It just gave, it gave me the extra gain that I needed. That's all I wanted. I don't need an extra tone control. I got tone for days. I got tone coming from my guitar. Uh, I got tone coming from my amp. Uh, if need be, I can throw my JHS haunting mids in there and I, I have tone and tone and tone. No, what I want is I want it to overdrive my signal and give me a boost. So anyway, let's let's uh, let's demo it a little bit. All right. So let me get down here. So left is tube drive. Right is output level. Obviously, you can use that as a, you know, just a straight boost. Yeah, and a nice amount of drive, but not overly done, you know, because uh, I really don't like these overdrive pedals that are, are basically distortion pedals masquerading as overdrive pedals. They're not really overdrives. They're distortion pedals. You know, if I if I need a distortion pedal, man, I got a somewhere in some box somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in some garage in the United States, there is a Boss DS1. If I need a distortion pedal, that's the only one I ever need. No, I want overdrive. Pure and simple. So let's let's hear what it sounds like with just the good old riff. That is fantastic. And I mean, more gain than I'll ever need. I mean, I, I basically, what do I need? I just put it at 12 o'clock. Both controls at 12 o'clock. That's pretty much all I need. All right, so let's bring in the effects loop. So I'll turn on the noise gate. And let's see what that sounds like with a little reverb. <laughs> Pretty nice. I'm going to adjust 
the revert so it's on soft. So it comes in a little less abrupt. So let's hear what that sounds like with a bit of delay. <laughs> This is, you know, just plain and simple. No need to do a bunch of, you know, fancy schmancy. I mean, honestly, I see some of these pedals on the market, uh, you know, and we're talking about overdrive pedals or maybe distortion pedals. Dude, and they've got like six, eight knobs. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Why do you even need all that? What's an overdrive supposed to do? It's supposed to emulate the overdriving of an amp. So as if the amp were being pushed at high volume. Uh, which, you know, maybe you need that at low volume, right? This is perfect. So let's, let's hear what it sounds like with a little bit of chorus on it. So I'm gonna bring in the good old Ibanez mini chorus. Purple. So in summation, uh, if you need, if you're like me and you just want your overdrive pedal to overdrive, just, you know, yeah, I just want the thing to overdrive. Uh, this is it. I do know a guitar shop here in the city where I live, where there are no less than three Boss OD1 overdrives. However, the owner of this shop will not sell them for anything less 
than 2000 a piece, which is absolute madness. Yeah, I know they're rarities, but come on, dude. That's just ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, I'm not going to shell out two Gs for a Boss Overdrive pedal. So I thought, well, I can't have those. I can't have one. I'd have bought two from him. If it had been like 200, I would have been like, okay, sure, why not? But nope, he refuses. So anyway, uh, I found this, and this is really great. And here's what the boost. So this is the amp boost. Really nice. So you've got all sorts of possibilities. Here it is with the wah wah pedal. You know, so here's here's the the great uh, Cry Baby 535Q. And as you know, the Crybaby also has a boost. So you can imagine, far up at pretty high volume. Oh, don't even have to be notes. Notes start cutting off. You know, you get that wonderful feedback, which we all <laughs> know and love. So yeah. So anyway, uh, if you are in fact looking for a great, straightforward overdrive pedal, and I mean it just does that, plain, simple, ordinary overdrive, you get your gain, you get your output, and that's it. And here, look, I'll turn the overdrive down, right? And I'll turn output up. So that's like... Three o'clock, nine o'clock. Nice crunchy. Nice, nice biting, nice compression. Yeah, so I'm sold. And it uh, didn't even cost me that much. Um, offhand, I forget how much I paid for it, but uh, it actually was not that expensive uh, comparatively to uh, other pedals. So I will put the complete specs in the description uh, for this video. And part two will be just the overdrive with no narration so you can hear the complete sound spectrum. All right, so I hope this has been helpful and informative. For those of you who are, in fact, looking for just a straightforward, nice overdrive to put in front of your favorite amp. Uh, yeah, so if you dig it, please uh, like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload new content. And you can also follow me at Instagram. And that's Ron Lydian 2 at Instagram. Ron Lydian 2, Ron Lydian number 2 at Instagram. All right, take care and keep on rocking.